everyone. My name is Dr. Gitanjali Shravastav, the Emergency Department Medical Director at Valley Children's Hospital. Today, we're going to talk about how to keep your children safe from common poisonings inside your home. About 58% of the calls to the California Poison Control System in 2019 involved medication poisonings, both prescription and over-the-counter. In 2020, approximately 22,000 children in California were seen in healthcare facilities due to medication poisonings. Children cannot distinguish candy from medications and household cleaners. It is important to never call them candy. Some common causes of medication poisonings and complications include taking too much medication, taking the wrong medication, or dosing in the incorrect time frame. We also see drug interactions and allergic reactions. When in doubt, it is important to call your local poison center at 1-800-222-1222. They're available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, staffed by pharmacists, doctors, and poison experts. It's often difficult to remember important phone numbers in an emergency situation, so keep this one handy in your cell phone. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Vora from California Poison Control, and I would like to give you some tips to prevent medication poisoning. First, store all of your medications, vitamins, and any pills in locked cabinets up and away from the reach of children. Remember to keep them in their original container and get rid of them when they're expired or no longer needed. Use child-resistant packaging and replace the caps tightly, but remember, child-resistant does not mean that a child cannot get into it. Proper storage is absolutely key. Always read labels before taking or giving medications to make sure that you have the right name, the right directions, and that it is not expired. Before you take anything new, go ahead and ask the pharmacist about food, drinks, or other medications that might interfere with the medication that you're taking. Finally, this is really important. Never take a medicine that does not belong to you, even if the symptoms are similar. Whether it's a painkiller or an antibiotic, always make sure that you're taking the medication that's only for you. If you forget to take a medication or you give it at the wrong time, don't double dose without checking with your doctor or call poison control. Never give extra medicine if some gets spilled without checking with your pharmacist or a clinician to get you the best advice about that situation. Now that we know about preventing medication poisoning, let's go to Dr. Serena Huntington to learn about preventing household product poisoning. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Serena Huntington and I'm a pharmacist at the California Poison Control System. I'm here today to share with you some tips to avoid poisonings from household items. Some common household and personal care products can be dangerous to children since they have bright colors, interesting containers, and a sweet smell. These include cleaning and laundry products, cosmetics, garden supplies, automotive products, fuels, paints, and pool products, to name a few. Lock up all cleaners, pesticides, auto and garage products, and cosmetics where children cannot see or reach them. Store them in their original containers. Do not reuse empty household containers such as food containers or water bottles. When in doubt, or you think you or your child may have been exposed, call the California Poison Control System at 1-800-222-1222. We're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we offer many languages. We hope these tips will keep you and your family safe from unintentional poisoning.